Barbara Streisand. Hey guys, it's Jonah here. Welcome to Homebrew Wednesday once again. <laughs> now, firstly, I have to apologise that there was no Homebrew Wednesday last week. I was, in fact, on holiday um, in St Albans. Check it out, it's a proper, proper old school village, Roman as well. Um, and it was because it was the missus's birthday. So I apologise, but hopefully you can see why, um, why I didn't upload. Um, I did do a supermarket Sunday though. Come on, it's summertime. And I know if the last few weeks I've been going on about it, but this week, it's definitely time to do the Rosemary Ale. Um, and I'm going to do an AG version, so that video will be coming out soon. I do apologise that things haven't been working as fast as they uh, they would do normally. Um, but yeah, things have been happening in Uncle John the land, uh, and it's making brewing a little bit difficult. So bear with me. I will be brewing again. Shamo. Anyway, we have got a couple of things. Firstly, I want to say thanks to all my new subs. Um, so I'm going to list some of those now. Got Thomas Ford. Thanks very much, sir. Fabio Prado. Shamo. Uh, Ninja Pig 73. Shamo. Um, Ken Laverick. Thank you. Uh, Agma de Davidson. Is he from Norway? Big hello to you, dude. Intermezzo 1257. Shamon. Stephen Bird. Chris Bruce Beard. Wow. Good for you, bro. <laughs> Don't we all? Um, Lester Benz. Big hey to you. Manwa Brew. Big Shamon. John Owens. And finally, Markish86. So thank you very much to all those guys for subbing to me. Now, I think we're going to go outside. We're going to give you an update on the hop garden. And, uh, well, we'll see. It's not all gone <laughs> to plan. Let's go and check that out. Okay, guys, so here we are out in the garden. And as you can see, it might not be that easy to see, but you can definitely see two plants. Um, this one is doing very well. and We've got sproutage everywhere. This one, we've got a little bit of sproutage going on, but unfortunately the wind has knocked the, the top off. So, from the original six cuttings that I took, um, only one really has gone completely bonkers. And I've got one other that hopefully will grow. So, it is possible to grow hops from cuttings, but it's a lot more difficult than I initially thought. <laughs> anyway, more updates as we go along, but at least we've got one to work with, um, and I'm just hoping that it's a female and not, not a male, otherwise this experiment is probably a failure. But never mind, we've got, it's possible, that's all I'm going to say. <laughs> Shama on. So guys, as you can see, I don't know if you could hear me through that piece, um, but the hop garden's not going as, as well as anticipated. But we are getting some results, so bear with me. It's not all, it's not all doom and gloom. Um, the hop seeds uh, that have been in the fridge for probably at least six weeks now, none of them have started sprouting. So, and we're getting into June now, so it's a little bit too late, really, um, to, to put them out. But you never know. I might, I might do. I might do. We'll see how it goes. Um, maybe keep half back um, for next year and just keep them in the fridge. For the whole of the summer. <laughs> um, now, the last thing I want to say on this Homebrew Wednesday, and it has been a bit of a short one, is I want to say, say a big thank you to Kevin Clements. Um, hopefully you guys will have seen his, um, his, I don't know if it was a Homebrew Wednesday, it wasn't really, it was just a welcome to London <laughs> video. And it was me and him visiting a couple of pubs. Um, we didn't take that much footage on the day, um, but it, it worked out really cool. And um, a couple of people have said, you know, come on, why, why haven't you taken him to the, you know, the brew pubs, you know, the scenes exploding in London and all this kind of stuff. The main reason was um, Kev wanted to, to go to traditional places. Um, so I think I said it in a comment, um, but just, um, just in case no one understood why, it, 
we were talking on the Facebook, you know, for the weeks up until he came over. And Kev definitely said, look, I want to go to traditional historic places. Um, and, you know, going to say we were looking at the cast. Uh, is it the cast in Pimlico? The cask? Something like that. Um, and it's got loads of different beers and a lot of London beers. Um, a lot of what I would call sort of US uh, IPA copies. Um, and uh, yeah, I... I th I, I have to say, I thought maybe Kevin would be up for that. But he went, no, 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 no. I want to go to the traditional London boozer. <laughs> so hopefully uh, we, we did that and we had a couple of really good brews, went out for dinner in the evening. It was, it was a great day. So Kev, once again, I've said it before, but thank you very much, sir, for taking your time to meet up with a crazy dude such as myself. <laughs> To everyone else, hope you have a happy Homebrew Wednesday, very productive one too, and you never know, if you're around tonight, I might be casting, so make sure you check out Vaughan TV slash Uncle Jonah. And if you don't know already, make sure you click um, subscribe, or I think it's follow on Vaughan TV, um, because I do sneaky ones. I did one on Sunday night, and there were a few people in there, um, but yeah, I mainly cast on Wednesdays and Saturdays. Um, so, make sure you click follow and it'll tell you when I'm on. <laughs> okay guys, until next week, stay safe, keep brewing, and happy homebrew Wednesday. Come on, it's summertime! <laughs>